everyone, it's Timmy with Ivy Corrine Bath and Body. Um, we are here today to make our third hemp soap. I decided I was exhausted last night and so I didn't do the third one like I was supposed to. So I ended up just leaving it till the morning because I figured that if you watch the video for what soap did we make? Raspberry something like Yeah. Um yeah, that that video was ridiculous. Like we were so exhausted and we were just laughing hysterically and making no sense. So I I apologize for our insaneness. We were so tired. I when, when I finally put that soap to bed, it was 4:30. And uh yeah, it had just been a long day. And then I had to get my daughter didn't sleep all last night and then I had to get up early to get everything ready for my daughter's party. So yeah, I still haven't gotten much sleep. I think I'm on two hours right now. But it's around 7.30, so it's early for me. So I'm going to get the soap done, and then I'm going to go sit down and relax. So this um, this final one we're doing here is... Oh, I forgot my clay. This is just our clays and water. Um, and I just strained out the bamboo soap. That's what you... Why? Oh, it's going to be one of those videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I, I strained out the, the bamboo silk out of there because um, sometimes a little bit of it doesn't dissolve. So we strain that out. This is the clay. So, here, you want to take that cup I just made a disaster mess with. Thank you. You can do everything out of your way as possible so you don't have to throw more stuff. Thank you. So, we're going to buzz this in. <laughs> If you didn't watch our other videos, um, the reason that you need to mix that in with the other one. Okay. Um, the, the reason we haven't done the, um, or if you didn't watch the other hemp soap videos, you notice that the batter is kind of a green color, like a pea green right now. It was a dark green before. Um, we do use unrefined hemp oil, um, so it's a nice dark green color. Um, if you get the refined one, um, you can tell they definitely took a lot of stuff out of it because it's almost like a golden green color. It's really, really light green. Almost like a soybean oil or something or olive oil. Um, so, yeah, this one definitely has, I think, better properties to it. So, we are going to go ahead. We just, I'm just going to get this to emulsify right now. And Hubby's mixing some, the fragrance oil with some vanilla stabilizer. And then I'm going to get out some cups here. Sorry. Unprepared as always. Um, I'm going to grab some cups here. Where are the other ones? Where are my other cups? Oh, there they are. Never mind. Sorry. Oh, I thought they were in the sink. I didn't realize they. I had more up there. So we're going to take these and I'm going to pour off enough so that I can still have time because this fragrance moves a little bit. Um, it's not horrible, but by the end it will be pudding-esque. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it off so I can blend in my colors and everything. A little bit of soap in that one. Don't want that in there. Okay, so we're just going to split this evenly. So I'm just going to... I don't even... I didn't even figure out how much would be in each cup, so I'm just going to start splitting it up. And we'll just... Make it work here. In fact, I'm pretty sure I put way too much in that first cup, so. Yep. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because we got four colors here. Well, that smells good. Oh, uh, the fragrance. I didn't even tell you what we're doing. This is a remake for us. Uh, this is our... Uh, cedar spice and citrus scent. Um, it was one of the first hemp soaps we ever did. Um, it is wildly popular with our customers and they have been begging us to bring it back because we've been out for a while. Uh, so I finally, I was waiting on some hemp oil because the company I ordered from has been out of stock and it finally came back in. So we now have everything we needed. That was the only thing I needed to make it. So we got our hemp oil in here so we're working on this soap. So I, I sent off a message on my Facebook that we will be, you know, we're making it this weekend. And they were so excited. 
I had people actually text me, some people I know personally, they text me, they're like, you're bringing it back, yes, awesome, and they're like, you just put two bars on hold for me now, I had one lady, put four bars on hold for me right now, it smells really good, it's totally different, um, it's got, uh, patchouli notes in there, and like your, uh, sandalwood, and I'm trying to think what else is in there, um, there's a ton of citrus notes in there. That's where the citrus comes in. Um, I don't remember what's all in this one. I'd have to look, but I will put it in the description below. All the different um, notes that are in there. Because I really don't remember, to be honest. Okay, that's about even. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so now... Can I see? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. See, this is what it looks like when you do a vanilla stabilizer with your fragrance oil. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to tip it out of the cup. But there's the clear, and then the fragrance is the golden part there. And you kind of got to get it mixed really good to start incorporating it. And the one I buy, they recommend leaving it for two minutes, um, incorporate it together, and then adding it to your stuff. So I'm just getting this well mixed. And then I will go ahead and uh, mix my colors and then I'll start pouring it in. Because again, it thickens up. So I want to just add it in separately to each one. Like some of these, there. some of these when you actually mix it with a vanilla stabilizer, I don't know why, but some of them get really thick like a jelly. Um, it's just some kind of reaction they're having with it. Some of them you'll put a clear one in a vanilla stabilizer, the fragrance oil is clear. But when they combine, they turn brown. Um, but it works for most part. I, I've had a couple where the stabilizer did not work. But now you can see it's all one consistency, and it's trying to separate out. And it will again, and I'll just stir it back in right before I pour it in. So we're going to go ahead and start with our colors. And I have orange as my first. These are all the neons from Brambleberry. Uh, this first one is Tangerine Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. That vanilla stabilizer can be pretty brutal if you uh you do not smell it once it's in the soap. It just but out of there it can get just hit you in the back of the throat. <coughs> it makes you do that. <laughs> That's evil stuff. <coughs> yeah, it is pretty bad. But it works so well. And like I said, you don't smell it in the finished soap. And it's actually in the category of just the fragrance. Uh, this one has way more than this one in there. There we go. Um, but it's in the category, like for the description, it's actually a description of fragrance. It's just another component to the fragrance oil. So it's not even an extra ingredient in there. And it's actually just something that they use to help stabilize that fragrance so it doesn't turn brown. Some soapers use it, some soapers choose not to. Um, whatever you choose to do, that's your decision. Um, I don't always use it. A lot of times I will work with the brown color that it's going to show up, but for this one it gets quite brown. And I really love the, our design of the neon colors. Kind of the, it's like our, our ode to the hippies, I guess. It's our hippie soap. Is that, like it's got that patchouli in there, and that's why we picked this fragrance to start with. But it's got some wood scents and musk and citrus it's just it's not it's definitely not a patchouli scent because I am not a big fan of patchouli but this one it's got so many other notes the patchouli is just one of them that makes it better so yeah, yeah, I know she's walking right up there don't, don't keep that in there keep it again. no it's fine just leave it mm -hmm. don't touch it don't touch it that's how I had it, didn't I? No, you had it the other way, so the dollar fair is always running on the plastic. Oh, I'm sorry. Making a mess. I know. That's my job. That's what I do. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to blend in our colors here. Am I in the frame? Yeah, you're all good. Okay. Sorry, we're trying to put the frame in a little bit of a different position, see if we can get a better picture. <laughs> I'm so a movie maker. Yeah. 
kind of want to take this too far because I want to, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and add in the fragrance for each of these. Okay. Because otherwise I'm going to have to wash the stick blender. Otherwise you're going to have to wash the stick blender. Four times. Yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. Sure it does. Just watch somebody else do it. Okay, we got that reincorporated. And so we're going to do a little bit in there. We'll blend this in, and we'll move on to the next one. Let's go a little shut. Yep. But it does thicken up, so if you want to kind of stir that around. Yeah, my spatula's ready. Thank you, sir. All right, here's our pink here. Yeah, you know when the first time we were using um, the pigments, uh, I didn't realize with the neons you had to actually blend them in, and so we just stirred them in and they looked fine. But I remember I added a lot of color to them because it just it didn't seem like it was really sticking. And then I realized, oh, you know what? It's kind of floating on top of it instead of being in it. I bet you I was supposed to blend that in, and sure enough. So now we blend. You can blend if you want. <laughs> no, too you early. You can blend. You can blend. You can blend if you wanna. Too early for that. <laughs> Not for me. Maybe for them. Star <laughs> green, and this is not a neon. I should say this is actually um, chromium green. This is also from Brambleberry. I mix the coloring first. <laughs> Forget. I'm not gonna forget. I'm gonna stir this up again. If you don't, if you're doing it in little, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, you gotta remember to stir the fragrance oil into the stabilizer um, if it starts separating. Because you don't want to put fragrance oil in with no stabilizer in it. This one just turned off. Yeah, I told you it moves. It's not horrible. our green. Yeah, they'll just get like pudding. I'm sorry, I thought you were going there. I was going to that out of your waist and can put it where you want. Um, but this will go like pudding, but it doesn't get like hard. So, it's a good one to work oh, yeah, with. Oh, yeah, remember the first time? Mm-hmm. It'll go around the mold. Wow, that didn't want to come out the way I was hoping it would. What color is that? It's supposed to be blue. Well. Give me a second, I'm going to mix something up. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. Right back, guys. I'm going to put in some of our trusty uh, matte cobalt blue. Never fail. This stuff always works awesome. Except for that one time we did the green tea soap. Did we try to do that with blue? Yeah. Remember, everything turned green, no matter yeah. what we added. And brown. It was like shades of brown and green and yellow. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Yeah, we wanted it blue. Ugh. It came out beautiful. You know why I think that turned colors is because the hemp oil is so dark? Yeah. I think that's why it went so dark here. Let's dump half that jar and all we have yeah, if I dump the jar in there, don't dump the powder into your soaps like that because it'll just seize, or you'll get speckles really bad. I need that. I'll just test them everybody at home. Oh, okay. Just checking. Alright, put our little mini mixer in there. Give it a good little whiz around. And this is just dispersing a little bit of olive oil. little of that in there. See what we got. That's fine. Alright. It's getting 
sitting there. There you go. Just pour it all in. Hey, well, that's why you did that the first time, right? Oh, I'm just the day. checking. It's starting to sound like boom power. All right, there we go. That'll work. So, and then here's the rest of our fragrance. I'm going to dump that, that in there. <laughs> and I'm just going to scrape this on in there. I really do like these colors. Yeah, they're like really nice. Actually, my pink kind of is morphing to a orangey, like a red orange. And my orange is morphing to a yellow orange, but it actually looks really nice, so... See, that's the thing with soap. Even if the colors don't come out exactly like you were hoping, it's really hard to screw it up to the point of, oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> it is possible, though. Ooh. Bubbles. Uh. All right. Now that we're nice and thick <laughs> on that one. Yeah, it'll match the orange. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to get my little cups out of the way. Can I have a paper towel? Because I'm going to wipe the table off just a bit here. Thank you. I'm going to stick it on top. All right. So here's the mold. And what we're going to do is actually just start pouring. This is kind of like a, I call it a faux funnel pour. I don't know if that's actually correct, but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do three circles. And then I'm going to come back through. You know what's the corner, right? Yes. I'm going to come back through with the next color right in the middle of that circle. And we will just repeat, repeat, repeat. So we get all our colors in there. Was that weird the last time? Yep. I thought we did some kind of crazy spoon swirl. And... Oh, it got really thick, and I think I had to spoon swirl it in the end. This is what I want it to do. First, you don't succeed. It was right away the second time. <laughs> And if you make these smaller, they will, you know, little, littler pores, they will come out different. But, and if you pour it up higher, it'll give you a different effect. It's just all about what you're doing. I like to pour them up kind of high, so that they'll go down a little bit into the soap. But as they get thicker, it gets tougher and tougher to get it in there. these colors. They totally are not the neons I was hoping for, but I actually like these better. Hey man, they're mellow. <laughs> Let me scrape some of this down and get to my very end here. Alright, and we probably can get one more pass and then I'm going to save the rest for the top. of our pink slash red slash orange color. <laughs> I actually think this goes better with the I think this goes better with the scent. This design or these colors. What do you think? That's nice. Okay. We don't like this before. I don't remember. Yeah, the first time we did this. I haven't done it since because it didn't work the way I wanted it to. I don't remember doing this ever. Alright, so a lot we of got one. Yeah, I'm not done. Alright. We're supposed to do this one next. And then I think I skipped yellow at some point here. I think that's why there's so much here. Not make that noise at me. And I must have skipped it. There's no other reason for there to be this much of it. That's okay. We'll just use this for the top and then we'll layer just those colors on top. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go tap this down real fast to flatten all these out and I'll be right back. Green thumbs. And that's supposed to be a good thing, a green thumb. Yeah. Maybe not in the soaping world. <laughs> I 
Which, yeah, why are you even pouring without gloves there? <laughs> yeah. Green thumb. All right, so there you go. That's our. That's it all flattened out. So what I'm going to do now, is since I have so much of the yellow left, is I'm going to start with the yellow and just kind of pour that all over the top. This dark blue here is the next most. The next most. Okay. Once again, this is not an English class. <laughs> the next, next most. Next mostest. Is it the bestest too? In the west is. <laughs> the green very hard or not. That's okay. But it's my favorite color. This little bit of red on there. Orange. Yeah, it's like a red, orange, yellowy, <laughs> pink you color. Know that hemp we made the other day. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> the hemp we made the other day that uh, the green come out of the white, so maybe these will go back a little bit. They might. I'm not worried about it. if it does. I kind of hope it stays this color. I really like this. Well, then I won't. Well, then it won't what? Stay that color because that's what you want it to do. <laughs> you want a skewer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want a skewer. You know what? It's like turning the same discoloration colors that the that perp, that grape one we did was the veneered one. Mm-hmm. It's kind of got those colors, but I really like it. I, I really think it's nice. I'm really not just saying that at all. I, I really think it's quite pretty. Those colors. Can we scrape a little more? I think I got about all of it. I just I had saved a little of this yellow in case I buried it all while I was doing that. Regardless of how it turns yeah. out, it smells so good that it doesn't. Go ahead. Yeah, oh, I, you ruined it. I helped. You <laughs> ruined the whole thing. I helped. I made a mess of this. I made, no, that's how I got it from you. You made a mess. Oh, I made a mess of the green, apparently. You did. It's all your fault. Okay, last little bits here, guys. I don't think I gave you permission for that second one. I don't care. You open the floodgates. <laughs> There's soap a flying. I know. I think you got it on my face. <laughs> get out of here. I'm serious. No, really. Get out of here. No, you get out of here. Get out of here. Where? Oh, right, right there. there. <laughs> All right. That's good. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to... I said that's good. I said that's good. <laughs> Alright, All right. so I'm gonna what oh I'm gonna stick the paper towel in it and then I'm gonna wipe it down. And can I have that last one there? Thank you. We're gonna play this back though. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna smack it down one more time and then I'm gonna come back in with my skewer and kinda swirl those top colors together. So one second guys. Thank you. Taking what away? Just pots, because I've done that before and you're like, Wait. Hey, wait, I needed like one more drop of the green. <laughs> like, well, sorry, I already washed it. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. We'll be sure and go over it a hundred different ways so that... So it muddies completely? It yeah. looks nothing like this? Yeah, you know, I'm such a big fan of that. I know you are. That's why I do it just for you. They can hear you breathing in anger at me. 
I'm not breathing. <laughs> You're not breathing? No. Alright, and we're, no, it's gotta go the other way because it's just too, like, uh, I can either go the other way or I can swirl a little bit. Swirl. Swirl a little. I just want to pull, like, some of these colors into the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, that's more paisley looking. That's what we should have had is a paisley swirl. A paisley swirl? Yeah. Is that possible? I have no idea. You're the, you're the Do you know what Paisley artisan. is? It's that little shape that they put on them shutters in the 70s. <laughs> it's it that looks little like a thingy over there so, in the thingy. Looks like a teardrop, kind of. I know yeah. what it is. You don't have to explain it to They're me. They have big white collars. You know. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that is it for this one. This is our Cedar Spice and Citrus remake. And it's a little bit different in the colors, but I like it. So this will be ready end of February, maybe the beginning of March. And if you want to find out exactly when it will be ready, make sure you like us on Facebook at um, facebook.com slash ivycoreen. Uh, it's I-V-Y-C-O-R-E-E-N dot com. Or no, not dot com because it's slash ivycoreen. Okay, so but you can like us there and then uh, you'll know when that's where we put all our updates of when soaps are available. And also, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll make sure you see this bad boy cut so you can see what it looks like in the inside. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.